Hey there, good looking at join me for this full body strength workout. Now listen, I've had a lot of fun programming this workout. So if you're feeling a little stale with your strength workouts and you re really want to mix it up, this is the perfect workout for you. Now this is an all levels workout as well as osteoporosis friendly. Now you need some tools for this workout. So first off, I'll tell you what's optional and that's the booty band. However, if you have the booty band, grab it because it's really going to add some extra fire to the hips and glutes. Second, we need dumbbells. So grab a couple of pairs of moderate to moderately heavy. For reference, I have a pair of 15s and a pair of 20s. And then finally, if you are a beginner or if you find push-ups really challenging, please have a bench or a chair nearby. And I'm going to show an alternative screen where you're on the knees with your hands elevated so that you can keep the form with the push-up, but it sure sucks a lot less. All right, gather your gear and let's go get warmed up. Join the unstoppable challenge and get in your fittest shape. Kicks off February 1st, 2024. Registration is now on. Hit the link below to join us. All right, let's head down to the mat and start warming up our spine and then head into the hips and all the other areas of the body. Wrists under shoulders, knees apart underneath the hips. Inhale at the low back, sag, head looks up. Push the ground away and exhale. Good, let's go at a breath and a rhythm that works for you. If you have osteoporosis and shouldn't be really flexing the spine, you'll just go at a gentle range of motion or maybe even just go to neutral and then let the belly drop. Last two. One more. Excellent, extend your right leg out for me. Come forward on, to, on top of the wrist, and then as you sit back, I want you to rotate that toe up towards the ceiling. Feeling this in the inner thigh of that straight leg. Last two. One more. Excellent. Other side. So we start with toes, fingers to me, and then as we sit back, you're going to rotate your toe up towards your ceiling. When we come forward, shoulders are on top of those wrists. When we sit back, it's all the way if your knee allows you to, to that back heel. Let's do two more. One more. Beautiful, come on up into a standing position. Hip hinge for me here, hands underneath the chest, open up, look up, other side, great. So we're working T-spine here and shoulders, Last four. One more. Beautiful, come on up, hands light behind the ears, push the booty back, heels underneath the hips, and hip hinge. We're going to be doing a as many rounds as possible throughout this workout, so they call it an AMRAP. And one of the exercises will be a deadlift. So I want you to really understand how to hip hinge. Now, if deadlifts don't work for you, you can do this exercise while we have the dumbbells so that we still get a length of the hamstrings, work into the glute, and you learn that hip hinge. Last two. One more. Excellent. Coming near the top of the mat for me. Step back with one leg. Reach up and down. Other leg. Now, how far you drop that back knee is up to you. You might just want to tap a back if the knees are feeling sensitive. Muscle memory this exercise, though, because we will be doing it in the workout. It's a reverse lunge. Great way to hit every muscle in the lower body as well as the core. Advanced people, let's get the knees to the ground. Everybody's swinging those arms, biceps going past the ears, thumbs going behind the body. Two more. One more. Excellent. All right. I want you to go into a little bit of semi squat. Let's get those hips fired up further. It's a one and a two. Good. One and a two. Last time. Good job. March it out. All right. We are starting with the 90 second AMRAP. So I want you to grab the lighter pair of your moderate dumbbells. We have four front squats, and we're all going to go on my pace, four shoulder presses, and then four dead lifts. 
I'm not going to go fast, but I am going to keep a smooth tempo. So I want you to move with the exercise. If you haven't completed your reps, move with me or maybe drop your weight down so you can stay on tempo. We're going to rotate through those three exercises, four reps of each until the timer goes. So let's get set up. Feet are shoulder width apart. Hands are here. You can also have them facing. Let's go for four squats. Here we go. Four advanced people. I want you to push your hips rear. Well, everybody push your hips rear, but I want you to come down so elbows touch the top of your thighs. One more. Stay here. Four presses. Four. Breathe out. Three. Keep that core tight. Two. One. Dumbbells in front. Knees soft. Hip hinge. Dumbbells come down close to the body. Four. Great. Nice length from top of head to tailbone. Two. Push through the heels as you come up. Three, four, rack them back to squat. Four, three, picking the tempo up just a little bit. Two, because we know what we're doing now. One, presses, go four, four, breathe out. Three, two, one, deadlifts, knees soft, go four. We keep going until that timer goes. Three, Two, one more, one, rock them, squat, four, feet shoulder width or a bit wider if that feels better for your hips, pushing the bum rearward, one more, shoulder press, here's four, three, fully extend those arms, two, one, we're almost there, dead lifts, let's go for four, good, the timer's going to go, let's finish this off, three, Come on, finish it. Two, and one, march it out. All right, we're gonna get into our strength circuit now. All right, we have 30 seconds here. Let's get our booty band on. Again, it's optional. Get the heavier of the weights on each side of your mat. Booty band is just above the knees. We're gonna start with a crush press. So, not necessarily need the booty band for this. Let's get the heels close to the bum. Dumbbells are touching, and we're gonna keep them touching as we press them above the chest. So let's get set up. Here we go, elbows down, nice tight in the core, and press, press. So this, we're, this circuit is three exercises, three rounds. This exercise is training the front of the body, and then we'll train the back of the body, and then we'll train the legs. Breathe out as you press up. The band is on our legs for the leg exercise. I just thought instead of take it off, put it on, take it off, put it on, we'll just keep it on. Time. Stay down here for me and just use one of your heavy dumbbells. Cup the very end of the dumbbell furthest from your head and then angle it away. Bring the legs up into tabletop. Elbows are soft, let the dumbbell come down, touch the ground, and then pull it back over the chest, upper abdomen area. Let's go. We're moving through the shoulders, not through the elbow. Now, if you wanna make this a little harder, you can straighten the legs and lower the legs down, but we're not allowing that low back to pop off of our mat. We've got a little bit of a lumbar curve, that's what we call neutral spine, and we're gonna keep that. So if you're unable to do that, I want you to keep the knees bent and tabletop. Breathe out as we're pulling that dumbbell back over the chest. Working now into the back of the body. And if you're lowering the legs, into the abs. 40 seconds of work. All right, let's drop the legs. Now, lift the hips up for me. Arms down by your side, don't flare the rib cage, so really just squeeze through the glutes and open the knees up for me. So this is where the band, if you're having a band, it's gonna um, add more resistance to your hips. Drop the bum halfway and then squeeze it all the way up. They call this a frog pump and really try to drop those knees out. Bum is never touching that ground though, all right? You're in constant tension here. So again, this one doesn't have to be done with a band if you don't have one, 
But if you have a band, I think you'll agree, you do get a little bit more <laughs> glute involvement. So that's the last exercise. We're gonna take it back to our chest press. Top of set two when we hear the timer. All right. Now, if you've got heavy dumbbells, like mine are pretty heavy, you wanna place them on your thighs and then roll back with them. I find that's the easiest way to get heavy dumbbells in this supine position. All right, they're touching, they're resting on your chest, abs engaged, breathe out, press up, all the way down. So this is called a crush press. We're putting, focus on the pecs and anterior deltoid, your front shoulder, but more emphasis on the triceps. Ooh, is there ever more focus on those triceps? <laughs> They're starting to burn. All right, take one dumbbell. Legs are up in tabletop. That just means knees over hips, ankles line up with knees. Cup the very end of your dumbbell and I want you to angle it away, almost where the post is parallel to your ground. Softness in those elbow joints. Let that dumbbell slowly come down, touching the mat behind your head. Pull it back over your abs. Good. You want to add a bit more? You can add those legs, maybe straightening them a bit to add more resistance, but maintaining that neutral spine. Your breath out as you're pulling up. All right, bring it down. Now, if you want to add a little bit more for this banded frog pump, place the dumbbell right on top of the hips and just have the hands hold the dumbbell there. So the butt's taken up all the weight. Lift the hips up high, open those knees up wide, drop the bum halfway, pump it up. Bump down and up. Really pumping those hips up high. Super embarrassing exercise. If a complete stranger were to walk into your home right now, <laughs> As I've mentioned before, when we've done this move, could be worse. You could be here on YouTube with me. <laughs> but super effective for the outer hip, upper glute. Ooh. All right, Whew. okay, so let's roll on up and let's get those heavy dumbbells in this position. So they're on our thighs, knees are bent, and you're just gonna roll back and let the back of the upper arm hit the mat and boom, there you go. Let the dumbbells touch, three, two, one. Exhale, press up, crush, press, final round. So you can have a really light grip on these and they're just kind of pressing against each other. All right, Whew. we can get rid of one of those. Okay, so we have Legs in tabletop, remember knees over hips, ankles over, lined up with the knees. Hold on to the end of the dumbbell, angle it away, let the arms drop down, dumbbell hits the mat behind the head and pull back over. Add the legs if you'd like. Breathing out as everything comes towards the center. If you find you're really bending those elbows to do this pullover, I think your weight's too heavy. Should be just a slight bend of the elbow and then everything's just coming through the shoulders. So we get those lats fired up. 
big muscles down the sides of the back. Should be struggling, we're near the end. All right, again, option to place the dumbbell on the hips for the frog pump. So feet are close together. Drive the hips up to begin with, hold the dumbbell there. Now open the knees up nice and wide and drop the bum down halfway, pump it up. And see when you pump it up, if you can get the hips a little higher. Here we go, last round. Keep those knees open, come on. <laughs> Woo, all right, come on up. We're doing that am ramp again for 90 seconds. This time, let's have the booty band on if you have that booty band so we can activate the outer hip a bit more for our front squat. So let's get in a standing position, gather our gear and get set up for our second am ramp. Okay, we have about 25 seconds before we go through that. So grab the lighter of those dumbbells that we had. We start with four front squat, but if you've got the band on, that's gonna take a whole new meeting. Four shoulder presses, Four deadlifts. So same AMRAP we did just after our warm up. All right. So we're going at my speed. Advanced people, elbows touching the top of your thighs. In four, three, two, one. Let's go squat for four. One. Good. Push the booty back. Two, three, four. Press it. Four, three, two, one, deadlift, hip hinge, four, three, two, shoulders pulled back and down, one, front squat, feet wide, go down, four, three, two, one, shoulder press, four, three, straighten those arms, each rep, two, one, dead lifts, hip hinge, here's four, and we're bending the knee on this. I am not a fan of stiff-legged dead lifts. It's not good for the back. If you do it properly, or it is, but it's hard to tell if you're doing it properly, unless you have a mirror or a trainer by you. Two more squats, one more. Shoulder presses, here's four. Three, two, one, deadlifts, bent knee. Here we go, push the hips back, one. Pretend there's a wall just behind you and you're trying to seek out that wall. Let's finish it with the glutes. Two more, one more, and release. All right, let's get the booty band off. We're gonna move into a strength circuit now. Starting with a push up, don't worry. They're not gonna suck that bad. As I mentioned in the intro, have your hands elevated. That really helps. You'll see mini me once we begin the exercise, but it's basically the same thing we're doing down on the mat. Your hands are just elevated. We have one push up. I like to do mine from my knees because it's not my strongest move. Elbows are gonna come back towards the back of the mat. Now when I press up, I'm gonna go into high plank. Those of you that are beginners, you'll stay on the knee. And we're gonna tap one shoulder and hold for a breath. Tap the other shoulder, hold for a breath, and do four times, all right? Then we got a bunch of other stuff, but I'll let you know then. You ready? I know neither am I, I really don't like push-ups, but you guys, they're such a good total body move. So let's just put our heads down and do the work. Here we go, spread those fingers for me. Wrists are just slightly wider than your body. When you come down, you want the head and the elbows to form an arrow shape. So let's do one push-up here. 
come down, chest to ground if you can, press up. Now, if you're able to, come off of the knees. Now, tap hand to shoulder, or maybe hand to wrist if that feels better. We're gonna pause there, keep everything squared. Shoulders, hips, one more each side. Last side. Good job, push up. Tap, release, tap, release, two more. Push up. Shoulder tap or wrist tap if the shoulder isn't available. Keeping everything squared though. It's four, time. All right, take yourself down onto the back, onto the mat, on your tummy to work the low back. Arms down by your side for beginners, intermediate advanced, hands light beside the temple. Tuck your toes in, lift the chest and lower. Some extensions for the low spine. Totally suitable if you have osteoporosis. Breathe when it feels comfortable. For me, it's coming down, and it probably will be for you, because it feels like the ground is kind of punching the air out of me. Arms down by your side makes it a bit easier because you're not having to lift the weight of the arms up as well. Now when we come up, really lift, keeping those feet on the ground, slight pause, and then lower. We'll stand for the next exercise, which will be lower body dominant. Time, come on up. All right, so beginners, you can go body weight only. Everybody else, grab a pair of dumbbells, feet are hip width apart. We're lunging back just like we did in warm up. You can bend that back knee as little or as much as you'd like. Let's go. Now, as we step back, we step back with our feet hip width and we come back to our feet hip width. Upper body is nice and tall. Not moving much in the upper body, so a lot of core control. Focusing your stare on something stationary, because I do want you to be really stable with these. I don't want you falling all over the place. Don't swing those arms. So that's our triset. All right, when the timer goes, we'll go back to the push-up and shoulder tap. All right, let's go down. So remember it, one push up from the knees and then if you're able to come up off the knees, shoulder tap or wrist tap. Hands elevated if you need to make that push up a little easier for you. Let's go, take it down. Elbows and head form a arrow shape. Press up, tap it, slight pause. Tap it, slight pause, each side two times. And then back to that push up. Now, hey, if you can give me a good looking push up off the toes, please do. Okay, don't follow suit on the knees because your trainer sucks at push ups. <laughs> I want you to challenge you, okay? You should start to feel a real good fire happening too in the core. And again, once you've seen me, I want you to look time just straight ahead so you're not craning your neck. All right, low back extensions. Hands can be down by your side, palms down, and the hands will lift off slightly as you extend, or hands light be in be beside the tempo. Temples, gosh, I can't talk. Here we go, lift up. Toes stay on that ground, good. If you're with me with the hands up, Pull those shoulder blades together so the arms don't touch the ground at all. We're not aiming to jerk ourselves up to get a really high height. We just want what naturally the low back will give us. Come into a standing position, alternating reverse lunge. Beginners, body weight only. We stand at the top of our mat, our feet are hip width. You step back and lunge back however comfortable it feels for that knee joint. We're keeping ourselves stable and strong though. 
not letting our bodies kind of hip hinge or move around, We're staying really still and quiet in the upper body. You're stepping back a good stride behind you. All right, let's take it down. So push up to shoulder or wrist tap, four of them. This is our last round too, I think. Yep, <laughs> here we go. Spread the fingers, all right? Grip the mat with those fingertips and then screw the hands into the mat like you're screwing two jar lids. Lower down, press up. High plank if you can, four taps, and down. Again, once you see me, take a gaze at the top of the mat. Woo, all right. Taking it down, that low back extension, arms can be down by your side, or they can be light behind the ears, or actually beside the temple. I don't like to say behind the ears because that's sometimes people drop their head forward, so beside the tempo. For this last round, I'm gonna keep my arms down by your, my side. Let's tuck the toes into the mat, lift up, pause, and then lower. Come on up, final round of lunges. Choose your weapon. <laughs> nice and tall on the spine. Again, feet hip width and then we step back hip width and that'll help you with your balance. Three, two, one, let's go. Drop that back knee as far down as it feels comfortable. Once you see me, nice and tall on the spine. Keep yourself really centered and stable. So our last one, and then we're gonna finish off with that AMRAP one more time, and then we're done. All right, time. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the timer on. It's gonna give us 30 seconds before we begin that final AM ramp of four front squats, four shoulder press, four deadlift. So again, AM ramp means as many rounds as possible. So there's our 30 seconds. Ooh, grab a sip if you need it. Let's keep those feet moving though. So front squat. No band this time, unless you enjoyed the band, then I'm not gonna say no if you enjoy it. <laughs> Quickly get it on, you got 10 seconds. <laughs> I already sucked the life out of the party when I made you do push-ups, so. <laughs> All right, rock those dumbbells. We have four front squats, keeping up with me, go. One more, shoulder press, four, three, Two, one, dead lifts, hip hinge, knees bent. One, two, squeeze the glutes on the way up. Three, four, let's do those squats, here we go. Four, all the way up. 
three, two, one. Shoulder press, go four, three, abs tight, two, one. Dumbbells down, dead lift, bend knee, four, three. Squeeze those shoulder blades, two, one. Rock them, squat, four, three, two, one. Shoulder press, four, three, two, one. Deadlift, hip hinge, go four. Push through those heels, three, two. <laughs> one more and then our timer's going. One, well done you. All right, dumbbells away. Woo, baby. Grab a little sip if you need it. We're gonna stretch you out and then you can continue on with your day. So let's get down first. I want you to grab each dumbbell, place it beside that right foot, and then leave them there. Back knee, your left knee is just under the hip or maybe slightly behind, and then you're gonna extend, squeeze the glute. Inhale that left arm up and over and reach. If you've been with me for a heartbeat or two, we do this stretch a lot, it's one of my favorites. Stretching into the psoas, the TFL muscle here, Okay, inside a body. All three areas that can be really tight and cause a world of hurt to the low back, hips, knees, and you know what, even up into the upper body. Let's circle this arm nice and slow behind. Beautiful, now hands are here on top of our dumbbells. We've elevated the ground now so that we can fully hip hinge, push the hips back at the same time we drive the chest forward, stretching into that front hamstring. Now let's get into the medial head of your hamstring, okay? Rotate out, toe is out, push the bum back. Okay, so we have three heads that form our hamstring group, and it tends to be more the medial, the inside hamstring that's tight on people and can cause havoc. Couple more breaths. Now, if you don't feel much of a difference between rotating, externally rotating out and toe straight up, good for you. <laughs> I feel a huge difference because I do have a Issue with that medial hamstring. All right, let's do the other side. Right knee to ground, left leg out. Now we want that right knee just slightly behind that hip. Hinge forward, or sorry, push forward, extend back, inhale, right arm up, lean away. And we wanna keep that body fairly squared too, so we're not twisting to this front leg. And that's going to help us get in that TFL, which is this tight little muscle in the hip, front of the hip area, as well as the side of the body. All right, let's circle that arm behind. Nice. Hands here, toe up, press the hips, hip hinge, feel that stretch into the hamstring. A few breaths here, and then if you want to join me, we'll externally rotate right here and then push the hips back a bit more. You might even feel a sensation into the calf as well when you do this. And back to center. Let's get the dumbbells out of our way. Seated pigeon or figure four, left ankle over the right thigh and then Walk that right foot towards the bum and then push yourself forward. Woo! Flex that left foot so we protect that left knee slightly and say hello to those hip rotators. Now, if it's too much, what do you do? You just let it go, okay? You want more, what do you do? Bring everything closer. Your chest closer to the shin, your right foot closer to your bum.
Now let's just windshield wiper this right knee just a little bit to just move through that left hip joint. Last one. Nice. All right, let's release that and just be aware that each side could feel quite different. So let's just start air on the, you know, conservative side and then from there, make the adjustments that you need to get into that right hip. Little windshield wiper now with that left leg. So it's just kind of taking that right leg for a ride, getting that internal and external rotation of that left, or sorry, right hip joint. One more. Nice. Release. Moving into the forearms because we did a lot of gripping with our dumbbells. I want you to spread the fingers as wide as you possibly can. Turn the fingertips towards your knees. Plant your full hand on your mat and then sit back until you feel that bottom part of the hand just start to pull off the mat and hold there. Now we're going to pull back more, allowing the tips of the fingers to be the final part to leave our mat. Really exaggerate pressing into the mat, exaggerate the range of motion. Oh, lovely. Have a seat, whatever's most comfortable for you. Extend your right arm, fingertips to the ground, and now rotate the fingertips away from the midline of the body. Getting into that forearm though on the extensor side. We want to keep the elbow straight on this and just feel that stretch in the forearm. If you don't feel much of a stretch, good for you. <laughs> Let's keep it that way and keep the forearms healthy. Take it from a woman who struggled with tennis elbow for an entire year and golfer's elbow for a half a year. And I don't play either sport. It came just solely through gripping dumbbells. All right, shake it out. Let's do the other side. So we start with fingertips down and then we just rotate the fingertips away from the midline of the body. Yes, that's what I got for, I think I recorded something like 60 workouts in 30 days. <laughs> You know, the body doesn't like that, especially when you're over 50. <laughs> I know I should practice what I preach, shouldn't I? Yes, I should. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. And release. Final stretch for the triceps because they worked hard in our crush press and every shoulder press movement that we did. Let's take that right arm behind the head. Give it a gentle walk down the back and then maybe allow the other hand to help it go a little deeper and then we're going to lean away a bit so again we get into a bit of side body and right underneath the armpit there thank you so much for joining me if you're watching this on youtube and you would prefer to you know work with me on a more extensive level allow me to do the fitness programming for you there's a couple places you can do that one is Patreon and you would stay on YouTube and support this YouTube channel and then have access to workout calendars as well as all the fitness challenges that I release. The second is over on Over 50 Fitness and that's a completely different platform where you would have access to this entire YouTube library ads free as well as 14, 15, I don't know what we're at now, 16 other amazing instructors that are handpicked by me. And again, access to all of the challenges, workout calendars and so much more other side. I've got all the info down below. I hope I get to see you in either community. And if you're here on YouTube and just want to stay on YouTube and do my workouts on a regular basis, just to let you know, Patreon is the only way that I can keep this channel going. So whatever you can to help support the channel would be appreciated. Release. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful rest of your day and we will see you next workout. Bye.
Now, for those of you that are beginners, we are doing some push-ups near the end of the workout. Now, if that doesn't really, you know, make you real happy and singing songs and seeing rainbows and <laughs> who the hell ever sees a rainbow when they think push-ups? <laughs> Stupid analogy. Dumb, dumb, dumb PJ.